Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is Thursday, October 8th, 2020, and you know what that means? It is Football Thursday at DocSports.com. We call it that because each and every Thursday throughout the football season, that's the day of the week we post all of our plays for the upcoming week right through Monday Night Football. This week's no different. I've got seven college and pro football plays going this weekend. And the stars of the show, a seven star in the NFL, six star in college football. We look to continue with this red hot top plays run. My last 97 college and pro football top plays, we've hit 61% against the spread going back a few years. You know about those NFL plays if you've been following me over the past few years. My last 477 NFL plays posted online, hitting 59% against the spread. Again, all of my plays for the weekend, all seven, including the seven star and the six star, available on Thursday over at DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage. Also involved in baseball, I want to say thanks to those of you who jumped on board in the postseason. We're having a red hot run. We cashed a seven star play on Wednesday, a six star play on Tuesday. We are now with our plays rated five stars and higher in baseball. We're now eight and one, our last nine with those, and we're also on an eight and two run with my last ten baseball plays overall, picking up almost three thousand dollars for one hundred dollar per unit betters and let me correct that seven and one with our plays rated five stars and higher eight and two overall with our last ten and again up almost three thousand dollars for one hundred dollar per unit betters on this current baseball run in fact if you go back to september 21st we're up over thirty three hundred dollars so we've been red hot in baseball jump on board if you haven't yet if you wish and again i've got a six star play there's two day games on thursday's card one of the day games is a six star play uh, so don't miss out on that i got a free pick in baseball coming up on this report one last thing to tell you about as far as plays for me on thursday uh, first round head-to-head -head matchup. I've got one in the PGA. Listen, on August 1st, we decided to go all matchups in PGA. And sixth, uh, since then, I should say, almost over two months running, we are hitting 64% with my last 33 PGA matchups. We just won again this last weekend in golf, and we've got one play on Thursday's card. It's an afternoon play, uh, and they're right here in Las Vegas. The Shriners Tournament, uh, TPC Summerlin. Wish I could be there. It's not too far from where I happen to reside, but uh, we won't be able to make it. But uh, again, head-to-head -head matchup in golf. We've got the baseball six star, and it's football Thursday, all seven of my football plays through the entire weekend, available on Thursday, including the seven star and the six star. So jump on board if you wish. Quick programming up before the free pick. Uh, on Friday morning's video, I will start jumping into college and pro football. So I'll have uh, at least one football play for you on video for Friday morning. Talk a little bit more about the weekend. All right, let's get to the free pick here. Like yesterday, we went with the over between Tampa and the Yankees. The teams combined for 12 runs. We think they're going to combine for a decent amount of runs again on Thursday. Of course, New York in must-win mode at this particular point. Going to be Thompson for Tampa. He's an opener. He probably goes one or two innings. And I, I would bet we're going to see Yarbrough after that. And then for the Yankees, you got Jordan Montgomery. Now, I've told you a little bit about these two teams and did so on yesterday's video. The fact that the Yankees against right-handers, when it comes to the metrics I care about the most, which of course is, you know, WOBA and uh, the uh, WRC+. Plus. When it comes to that, those two categories, the Yankees have been outstanding. And we don't think that there's going to be any bit of a difference here in a game that they're in must-win mode. As far as Tampa Bay is concerned, they're going to go up against Jordan Montgomery. And if you look at Montgomery's numbers on the road this year, he's been bombed. He's given up 14 earned runs in just 17 and a third innings pitched. Uh, he has a problem at times with giving up a home run. He's given up a uh, one of about every less than every six innings when it comes to the way he's pitched on the road. And we think that Tampa Bay's bats, which put eight on the board last night, are going to be able to get to Jordan Montgomery enough here to help this game get over the total. Now, the total's sitting at nine and a half. A little bit of juice on the under. It's come down, though. We've seen a little bit of action coming in on the over in this particular total. But still, you might be able to get a, should be able to get a pretty nice price with over nine and a half. And once again, we think both teams are going to combine uh, to push this one over the total. We don't think it's going to be a one-sided affair. If it is, hey, we're fine with that too, as long as they hit 10 runs or more, right? So anyway, when I look at the pitching matchup, we know Thompson's going to be out early. We know it's probably going to be Yarbrough. We know what the Yankees are going to do at the plate. And they've got Jordan Montgomery on the mound. He's going to have some help too throughout this game from the Yankee pitchers. And I think we're likely to see 11 or 12 runs again. So my free pick is the over uh, between Tampa Bay and the Yankees. And again, listen, when you look at Tampa 
Tampa Bay and you look at what they've done, WOBA, WRC Plus, when they're at home, it's nothing special at all. In fact, it's not too hot. But when they're on the road, and in this case, like all the playoff games, it's a neutral site game, but it's away from home. This is where they catch fire with their bats. Top 10 this season in uh, WOBA on the road against right-handers. Again, not a true road game, but it is away from the juice box. And we think we're going to see some runs by both teams in this particular game. So again, the free pick is the over between the Rays and the Yankees on Thursday. Total sitting at nine and a half. Don't forget about all I told you about football, baseball, golf for me on Thursday. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column.